Hi, Ken here. If you want to experience an urban wilderness, visit Jones State Forest in Conroe, Texas. This video is one in a series about the forest. Today, we will highlight the use of fire for habitat restoration. Most firefighters are responsible for putting out fires, but Texas Forest Service firefighters also start fires to help the forest and its occupants. Fire is a natural component in many ecosystems. It is integral to the function and biodiversity of numerous habitats. Organisms living in these habitats have adapted to withstand and exploit natural wildfires. Unfortunately, campaigns in the United States have historically molded public opinion to believe that wildfires are always harmful. This view is outdated and incorrect. Fire suppression, in combination with other human-caused environmental changes, have resulted in unforeseen consequences. In an effort to restore the balance in the pine forest ecosystem, fire is commonly used as a management tool. It helps return the habitat to what it once was when fire was a natural component, and it also increases the diversity of wildlife species. On the Jones State Forest, fire is primarily used to control understory plant species that could impact the endangered red cockaded woodpecker. Fire eliminates the mid-story vegetation which predators otherwise might use to access woodpecker nests. Controlled prescribed burns also reduce the likelihood of uncontrolled and disastrous wildfires. Everything turned out good. I mean, it's a perfect day today. Uh, the weather was perfect on, on calling it between one, 1 o'clock when we started. The fuel sticks went down to 9%. Uh, temperature was in the 70s. Humidity's dropped down to its lowest at 34, which was great. That's why we, you, know, you noticed the heat that we were uh, getting out there. That's why we had to run our lines a little closer. Because, yeah. you know, we had a couple of them run a little wide. But that's good. We, uh, we adapted to it. We controlled a lot of the public coming in. We had a lot of looky loose coming in. And, out of the horse trailer traffic, but everybody did fine. What you see here is man-made. What we've done is use fire. We've also used some mechanical uh, means such as mulching, where the machine comes in and grinds up the underbrush, the small bushes, the small trees, and spits the mulch back out on the ground and mimics um, what naturally would have happened thousands of years ago before man was even here. This would be as close to a, as a remnant forest as you would find that um, is within an urban area. Stay tuned. An upcoming video in the series about Jones State Forest will focus on red cockaded woodpeckers. This bird is only one of two woodpecker species protected by the Endangered Species Act. The other bird is the ivory-billed woodpecker, and it's presumed to be extinct. Jones State Forest is home to about 10 red cockaded woodpecker family groups. Look for my next video in a few weeks that will describe the status of, of the woodpeckers and other things that are being done to encourage their success.